Welcome to the World Tarot. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Cancer for the week starting the 14th to the 21st of, I almost said November and then December. <laughs> Maybe those dates are significant for you somehow. But what I'm trying to say is the 14th to the 21st of February 2022. Holy Spirit, show me the Cancers who need to hear these messages. Uh, by the way, cancer is a shadow band word, so <laughs> not many cancers might see this video. There you go. Four of Wands. I saw, I saw a video about how you get shadow banned and what words are shadow banned. And even ice cream is shadow banned. Now I said it. <laughs> We're dead. Okay, Four of Wands. Okay, so you might have strong Aries in your chart. You might have a lot of cardinal energy in your chart. You're a boss. A boss B or a boss also B. <laughs> there you go. Okay, four of wands here. Um, you could be celebrated for whatever you do. Maybe you're going to spend most of the week at home. I don't know. That's also a possibility. Maybe work from home. I don't know. But anyway, you're stable. Yes. Okay, that's a yes. You work from home. Maybe you're a tarot reader like me. Okay. What else? You're in the public eye somehow. You could have some kind of online platform or online presence. And you, even if it's not like a specific um, business or something like that, you might have a lot of following on social media. Four of Wands. No, I said Four of Wands and I'm showing you this. Four of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. Yeah, you could be, you could be a witch or a tarot reader possibly. But with the Four of Wands, maybe you're a bit strapped for cash right now. I don't know. Ace of, but you might be getting more money this week. Nine of Cups reversed. Oh, come on, man. Ten of Wands. There's something that maybe you're looking for another job or something besides what you're doing now. You might be looking for a new job also. But it's like you're not going to get your wish granted this week at least. And you're burdened because you need more money, apparently. That's what I'm picking up here. In this particular reading, Holy Spirit, what can um, what can Cancer do to relieve some of these burdens here? Holy Spirit, any advice for Cancer on how they can? Let's see, Ace of Cups. Use your intuition or open your heart. The key is um, in opening your heart. I think you're going to be able to manifest more. <coughs> Yeah, because the Four of Pentacles talks to me about the blocked heart chakra. You could have been through a lot. And you're trying to focus on your material abundance. But your material abundance is blocked by the fact that your heart is blocked. So, and maybe your solar plexus too. Eight of Cups. Knight of Cups. Knight of Wands. Oh my gosh, so many knights. You could have children. Maybe you need to worry about your children. Also, you could have a lot of nights coming towards you, lots of love offers, because Valentine's Day is coming, and you might be getting a lot of offers, actually. You might be bombarded by love offers. But I think you're walking away from all these people because you're guarded. And you, you see them as just nights, you know. They're not serious. They're not coming towards you very seriously, and maybe you just want somebody who is serious, and that's it. So, Six of Cups, yeah, you're going to get a lot of flowers and candy and uh, gifts and stuff, whatever it is. Maybe even a serenade. But it's like you walk away from everything. You've got lots of options, definitely. This just emphasizes the same thing. Five of Pentacles, King of Wands. But I think you're going to leave them all out in the cold. There's also a king here, the king of wands. Okay, let's see. What about this king? Who? Five of wands reversed. Okay, so this person is not aggressive or anything like that. Because I was thinking about it already in my mind. When I see the king of wands, <coughs> especially coming under the ten of wands, I, I was thinking maybe this guy is um, aggressive or abusive or too sexual or something like that. But with the five of wands reversed, it's kind of like... Saying, no, 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 it's it's not bad. Put the wands down. <laughs> oh, but I've got the Three of Swords on the, in the upright here. So, maybe this person's heartbroken. But they could also be a heartbreaker. So, let's see. 
Can you trust the King of Wands here? Yes, you can. <coughs> but I think they're heartbroken too. And this person could have been through a lot. Maybe you're rejecting this person because you feel like they're a heartbreaker, but they're actually heartbroken. Cancer. This is a Cancer card. Four of Cups. You could be in this energy. Like you're rejecting everyone because you're afraid of what's in their cup. Okay. Six of Swords. Sixteen is kind of like the tower. There could be some kind of tower moment happening with this person, but there could be a positive tower. Maybe you're gonna, maybe this person's gonna talk to you about something and that's gonna clarify certain things about them. And this will help you move into calmer waters with this person. So maybe on the 16th, something might happen on the 16th. The 16th is when the full moon is. Uh, in the previous reading, in the Gemini reading, I, I think I said that the full moon is on the 18th. But it's actually on the 16th because I checked after that. <laughs> okay, so... Is this person doing some kind of magic on you on the full moon? Is this person doing full moon magic on you? I'm just asking because I'm paranoid. So there you go. Is this person doing... Two of Swords. In the Two of Swords, there's a moon. I just got the image of the moon. The, uh, my, my mind zoomed into the moon in the Two of Swords. But it's a half moon. It's like a C-shaped moon. It's not the full moon. Hmm. 162 could be significant. 16th of February. Oh my God, yes. The full moon is on the 16th of February. This is confirmation of what I just asked. Yes. They're going to do full moon magic <coughs> on the 16th of February. I got them. I caught them. Ten of pentacles. This person could be manifesting money too. But I think they manifest, they're manifesting a relationship with you too. Maybe they feel like you're going to have a lot of money and that's why they want you. Why is this person doing moon magic on you? Free themselves. Or to... Oh, oh my God. They're trying to free you from a relationship. They're doing moon magic so you can leave a relationship. You could be married or in a commitment, a serious commitment. And this person's trying to free you from your relationship by doing moon magic. Two of Cups. They, they want to be with you. They're trying to, to get you to leave somebody so you can be with them. To see them as a soulmate. Oh my god. 62, 26. Look at that. <coughs> yeah, th this person wants you to see them as their soulmate. Is this person actually... Oh my god, Ten of Cups. Is this person actually your soulmate? If they're actually... Nine of Pentacles... Nine of Wands. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about that. I think they're doing magic to make you think that they are your soulmate. And you should stay to yourself with the Nine of Pentacles. Just take care of yourself. Don't get into any relationships right now. Especially not with this person. Could be a fire sign. Maybe a Leo specifically. Could also be an air sign. Okay. Yeah, so this person's trying to be with you for... Yeah, they, they want you to leave a relationship or to leave some kind of stability you have somewhere and go towards them. Seven of Pentacles. They want to plant some kind of seed. They might want to get you pregnant too. <coughs> okay. Five of Swords. This person wants to win at all cost. This person could have some narcissistic tendencies. Okay, so you you need to do something to protect yourself uh, when, especially around the full full moon. They're 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 definitely doing something to you on the full moon, so just know that. Okay, <coughs> talk to me about this person. How can you recognize who this person is? This King of Wands. Who is this King of Wands? Talk to me more about the King of Wands, Holy Spirit. 
Seven of Wands. Yeah, definitely a fire sign. This is Sagittarius now. Seven also makes me think of Libra. I was also thinking of air signs. So maybe they have Libra and Sagittarius in their chart. Why are they doing this to you? I mean, I think they want a relationship here. Oh, you know what? I'm getting another thing. If you were with this person and you separated from this person and you have children with this person, they might try to gain access to their children. That's another possibility, another thing I just got now. Yes, I think it's true. So how do you protect yourself from this person? How should you protect yourself from this person? This person could be a very good manipulator. Ace of Wands, reverse. Don't give them any energy. Protect yourself. They're sending you a lot of energy. You need to send it back. 71 could be significant. Ah, the Fool. The Six of Wands. It seems like no matter what this person does, you're going to free yourself from this person. You're going to have some victory here. You might even become famous. <coughs> Maybe the magic that this person is sending you has the opposite effect of what they think it does. It might actually push you to become more... You see, you had the Four of Wands with the Fool. Now we got the Fool with the Six of Wands. So it might grow your business somehow. If you know how to transmute the energy they're sending you, you might move this energy into powering up your business, whatever your business is, right? That's cool. So it's like you're gonna... They're sending you all this energy, you're gonna act like an energy vampire, eat the energy up and uh, transform it. There you go, Cause since they want to send it so badly, no? Oh my god, you're gonna get rich off of this person doing magic on you, I swear to god. Especially if you're a spiritualist. Cool. You're gonna be rich and famous. And it might even improve your intuition or something, I don't know. This person's powering you up without knowing what they're doing. So there you go. Awesome. That's your reading. I hope this helps. Take care.